Hi. Hello. It's Paul. Tim. Doing a thing. Yeah, what are we doing? We're, we're cheating. Sick. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Um, this is the Righteous Brothers. We know the Righteous Brothers. Sure. We love this song. However, I found a version that we hadn't seen. So it was just like, this is basically the bit, this is going to be the best way to cheat this. Because um, most of your reactors have reacted to like the classic version of this song, where it's very much like this was like the entrance kind of mm -hmm. thing. So it's like sure. the video. Um, they just released like a somebody did a, a 4K pass on this. Oh, nice. Um, and it's not like that uh, that video. So it's okay. just like, hey, I haven't seen this. Nice. And so I we'll know, know it. Then but I know we don't. you haven't seen this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's like we very. It's kind of like Jimmy Eat World. We love Jimmy Eat World. We know the middle, mm -hmm. and or it's like, or it's like um bop, or it's just like, come on, we know the song. So that's what that's what Wednesdays are for. Wednesdays are to, to get some music good on here time. that we want to vibe out to some music and obviously see something we may not have seen before, but we know. Okay. So you lost that loving feeling. I, I have. You have. I've lost it. Oh. Yeah. Forgot how to do it. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, Top Gun. You never close your eyes anymore when I kiss Damn, your lips. His voice is just amazing. And there's no tenderness like grief holding your fingertips. You're Look trying hard mm -hmm. not to show it. But baby... So, let us know where this performance is, because, like, we couldn't find where it was, and I don't think they had music videos back in the 60s. So, like, mm -hmm. this is a performance from somewhere. Um, it just, like, it's not showing where it is. I love their voices, and it's always interesting, because, like, they're not brothers, actually. No. Um, they look similar. It's funny that they're, they're, like, I heard a conversation with them, and they're just basically, like, talking. It was like, well, our, 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 our names just don't go together. And literally, like, somebody, like, they were performing, I guess, under their names. Mm. And somebody, like, streamed out. It was like, that's righteous, brother. And they're like. Wow, is that true? That's, that's what that's they amazing. said. That's literally, he was just like, yeah, so we went with it. That's <laughs> was really like, good. was like, okay. That's <laughs> so, amazing. Like, um, and it's funny. Like, listening to these, these are just consummate people. Like, they, they just know what the hell they're doing. And it's beautiful listening to their vocals mm -hmm. because you have such a low voice yes and there's grit and there's soul in his voice and then you have these ridiculous falsettos yeah um and it, soul's a big thing man when you can hear soul in someone's voice <laughs> yeah it's so good yeah so um very good. so i i love this song mm -hmm. and it was like it's one of those things like is this a song Yes. That would have stood the test of time had it not been reinforced in a different time period. Because, period. Um, like, I think about that with, like, Queen. Queen, sure. arguably one of the best things. Is Bohemian Rhapsody the best song they've ever done or the most popular song they ever did? Or did it just get repurposed enough times to where, like, it will hmm. never leave the zeitgeist? I feel like this song holds up. Oh, and I think it For does. Sure. Because I, I, what was it? It was Top Gun, right? Yes. So, like, there's probably so many people who haven't seen Top Gun. There has to be, right? Like, well, I mean, if you go through a reaction, there's a considerable number of people that have never seen this song. This song. Right. Well, so there's like, young people who aren't us. So, <laughs> yeah. There's a whole generation of them. whole generation well, of the people are just like, we don't know this. Really? Oh, right. You wouldn't. We didn't. It blows my mind. Like, right? Yeah, you wouldn't. Shit. Yeah, but why? Why should... am I the jerk here? Yeah, you wouldn't have known this. <laughs> True. But um, we know this. So. Yes. Um, but I feel like I I knew this before I had even seen Top Gun. So I I I feel like so so we had a grocery store. 
Oh, man, he's going to tell the grocery store story. And when my dad did the sound system, uh, one day we changed the channel on him. Because it was right here. This is like the Philly area. So, like, yep. it was OGL. Sure. 98.1. Yep. And I changed it to, I think, Y100 at the time. Mm. And he was like, no. <laughs> and he literally changed it to 98.1. And then took pliers and ripped the, the knob, knob off. <laughs> out of the thing. Nice. So for 21 years, how lo- however long that, that thing lasted, that, that radio lasted, 21 years, it never moved off of OGL. <laughs> Good thing OGL stayed on that same station <laughs> yeah, for right? that whole length. You know you could just get a knob from something else. And, you know. That's what eventually happened, <laughs> but we didn't know. So That's fine. I love this song. Let's check where it is. Now there's no welcome look in your eyes when I reach for you. What a jawline. Good mm-hmm. for him. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Leading man jawline. Yes, very much. Did he act at all? I don't think he did. Missed opportunity. Very. It makes me just feel like crying. Because, baby, something. Favorite part of this. I think this is everybody's favorite part. Baby, baby, I get down on my knees for you. If you would only love me like you used to do, yeah. Not as good of a job. Huh. Strong, yeah. not strong enough. Showing women crying in the. Oh, they're all just dancing. Okay. They all look miserable. He looks like the kid from Blade and Twelve. That's just showing. Yeah. I think one of the most iconic bridges in in, in music. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Man, if you didn't have the video for this, you would swear there's more than two people probably. Too. Yeah. But also, Especially I'm so one. irritated with all these people. You don't know what you got, you stupid 64 teens. <laughs> they all look miserable. They don't have the loving feelings. Apparently not. They're plants. They were like, just look miserable. This is like pre Dick Clark bandstand era, where there was just like you're gonna you're you're going to to be happy, so happy. And then Soul Train was just like you're gonna one up this and be happy. Like this is 1964. It's like just be what you are. Just be what you are. Lame. Sad, sad people. Yeah. Just like can't be bothered that you were listening to one of the greatest songs of all time. They all found drugs shortly after this. <laughs> they all ended up fine. I I don't think I've gone from like how much I love a song to how much I hated a group of people before <laughs> than this because like because the song's so good. Not only that, but like they showed it during the bridge. Which the, is one of arguably the, the best part. The are yes, arguably the best part when you're going back and forth with their vo- with their yeah. vocals and, and and you're getting that like that that soul and that like grit and just like you the man just pining for that love that he had and it like you can't help but like stank face it and then these two people are just like <sighs> yeah just slow dancing sweat. I it's like I hate you all yeah I got free <laughs> tickets to this for yeah that's dancing. like. It's like I hate every part of you. I hate I like 
You shouldn't hate so I'm, much, Paul. I don't. I don't care. It's a visceral reaction to those people. I'm sorry. All of them. All Damn. of them there. None of them looked happy to be there. I'm sorry. Maybe None that's of, what happiness looked like in 1964. It's absolutely not. I don't know that. No, because there's no evidence. Do you want? There absolutely is evidence. <laughs> No, I've never seen it. You're gonna have to show me. I've never seen. You have to we'll, fi- it. we'll find some like twist and shout or something like that. Like we'll find, we'll find like the twist. But yeah, I love this song. I hate those people, but I love this song. Mm. Those people are so mean. I'm sorry that that took up all your <laughs> hatred in your I body. No, it really did. Um, definitely one of the best. Definitely, but one of the best. Uh, iconic songs um that had another life with mm-hmm. uh with top gun um i put bohemian rhapsody the same thing where it's just like it was there like did it necessarily make it out of the 70s and 80s unscathed might have but like then it got put back on the scene with wayne's world and then again with bohemian rhapsody. and then but yeah yeah if songs that don't usually get three attempts at it you know? yeah yeah yeah, you usually don't get, like, you get one, mm-hmm. and then now. But, like, now we got, like, we've had we've had situations now where other songs have, like, gone to the top for no particular reason. I think Fish just, or no, it wasn't Fish, uh, Grateful Dead, like, just charted, like, Weird. this week. Because, like, somebody mentions something, and they're like, oh, well, we can, we can one-up that. And then, like, all the Grateful Dead fans, like, got together and, like, bought the single again. Weird. And like forced it up into the That's pretty cool. Into though. the billboard top. Just to 10. show that it can happen. Yes. And then uh Justin Timberlake just came out with selfish and they're just like, no, people people like Britney fans like haven't forgiven him. Mm-hmm. So then we're like, mm-hmm. we're gonna buy Britney's two thousand eleven song called Selfish <laughs> and it topped Justin Timberlake for a day. That's weird. It is very weird. Anyway, uh. this is amazing. Um, what other classic, classic stuff? We're talking like 70s, 80s kind of stuff. Because we've done like the Bee Gees mm. on here now. Um, what are the classics like the Righteous Brothers have done? Give us a performance um, from them that obviously is on YouTube. And uh, let us know. Because like I'd love to get some of that kind of stuff where we've we've checked this stuff out. We know it, but... Some more classic jaw lines of music. That's what I want. <laughs> Some classic jaw lines of music. Yeah. The classic jaw. Li- I want to play this. It's I just think, awesome I think that's lines. a Time Life, uh, yeah, a time life album. That, like, they just missed that. It's like classic jaw lines of the, yeah. of the 1960s. Yeah. I, that's what I want. Like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. Catch them out on Capes and Scouts. Catch me out on Campfire Ashes. They're podcasts. They are. You can find them on Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, wherever you find your podcasts. And the links to the original video, as well as our merch links, and our Patreon, or, Patreon, yeah. Patreon, Patreon down below. Clearly that. Yes. I just kind of gave up on that sentence. Sure. Catch you next time. Bye.